Thank you for joining. Since we completed an introduction part on ASP.NET Core 7, starting this lesson, I believe you are ready to start a project with .NET Core 7 MVC. It will be a scalable web API based on the RESTful API pattern. It will include root operations, domain models, data transfer objects, the entity framework, SQL Server, SQL Server, Management Studio, ASP.NET Core SDK and Runtime, Swagger, Postman, with validation, authentication, authorization, and much more. If you followed my lessons from the very beginning, then Visual Studio is already installed on your computer. You know how to create a project and how to configure a project. If not, please refer to the lessons with installation. Also, it's better if you keep your system updated. You can go to Tools, then Get Tools and Features, close the Packages screen, and if an update is available, you will get a message. I will install the update and after the installation is completed, press Modify. Just to verify, ensure you have the same packages installed. Tick ASP.NET Web Development and Net Desktop Develop. Although Azure is ticked on my PC, you don't need Azure installed for this project. So keep this checkbox empty on your computer. We will need to add one more package for this project, which is data storage and processing, to connect to the database. Add it to your installation. In total, you will need three packages to be installed on your computer in Visual Studio Installer. Now that we have Visual Studio updated, we can continue with the installation of other required tools. Go to the Net Installation page. The link is under the video. On this page, press the tiny link All Net 7 Downloads. Choose the installation type based on your operating system. Then download and install the SDK and runtime for Net7. Next, let's download SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. Both links will be available under the video. Press the developer link and start the installation. Choose the basic version, which will provide all the required default configurations. After the installation is completed, copy the address to create a database in SSMS. Make sure to keep it copied somewhere. Next, we need to install SQL Server Management Studio. SSMS is an integrated environment for managing any SQL infrastructure. You can press the Install SSMS button, and you will be redirected to the web page from which it can be downloaded. Press the free download link for SQL SSMS installation and install it. After all the steps are completed, open SSMS and paste the string we saved earlier from the SQL Server installation. Please note that this string may look different with your installation. After you press Connect, you should get a screen similar to what you see now. The database is connected. If you need all the lesson code or project code, you can go to GitHub and fork the code. The link is below. With the next lesson, we will start the project. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest videos by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!